Yeah, guys and girls, welcome back. It's the 26th of the 10th of October. Well, it's your 10th month, which is October. So it's the 26th now. It is Thursday, 2017. And this is just a little rant. Uh, nothing too big and stuff. I'm not worried about it. My mum like, told me to do it, but... Uh, I just, to be honest, I just take it with a pinch of salt. I know they're trying to, uh, they're doing their, their, their business. So that they're, they're just doing what they normally, what other shops probably would uh, do and all stuff in their situation. Uh, in Bunnings anyway. Uh, actually two rants for you guys and girls. Right, uh, so I went into the cafe yesterday. And I obviously they asked me if it was hot and stuff, and I told them it wasn't that hot to be honest. The, the coffees um, in Bunnings, so I went to Bunnings, Western Supermare, uh, that's in Somerset area, UK. Do come down, it's absolutely amazing place down there. It's absolutely huge. They've got a variety of a lot of stuff, and to be honest, like they've got a lot of stuff down there. Now I went to the cafe part, I had a hot chocolate with my mum, actually not uh, one hot chocolate, not two hot chocolates, not three, but four, not four me, not four for me, two for my mum and two for me. Now it was around about four o'clock, uh, just gone four o'clock, it's just coming up, but it was between four and five. Now um, I don't know what machines they're using. But my mum reckons the actual coffee, well, the hot chocolate was cold. I'd, I'd say to my mum it was actually kind of lukewarm, so... Um, yeah, but this was on Saturday as yeah, well. Yeah, this, well, this Saturday as well. But uh, the second day, the 17th, when we first came there, it was fantastic. It was really, really hot. So I don't know what they're doing with the machines, and I hope they do fix it. So that's no, that's no biggie there, guys and girls with buns and all that. Uh, with the cafeteria. I do like the people there. The friendly is anything. And they're doing their best. That's all they can do. Is do their best. Um, and they've got a play area for children. Yeah and they've got a play area. And all that for the family. So they can bring their kids down. Which is absolutely fantastic. Because then all everyone. All the families can bring their kids down. And they can all have a big day out and stuff. And they've got and, little trolleys with children. Oh yeah and I've there. noticed as well. They've got these little trolleys they get around now. So with the, for the little them. kids to just like push around. So they're like just their parents going around. And you see the little babies like pushing them around and all that. Uh, which is like, which is good uh, for the families and all that. Anyway, uh, so getting to the point. Uh, to the next point, so that's all fantastic, family day out, so that'd be all good for the families and all that, and I do encourage families to bring their kids and bring themselves down to the, the actual stores, because then it helps with the productivity of buying stuff and trying to keep that store alive. Now, I've noticed on the website, apparently the money is decreasing i think it is um and on uh don't know if this is western i don't know if this is happening in western supermare or not because western's only just opened up for about a week now the western supermare version of bunnings and it's a great store it's been replaced um because uh, it was home based before uh in western supermare for you guys and girls who don't come to Western, who've never been to Western, or just live abroad and all that, so I'm just filling you all in. It was home base, which was actually a hardware store, and they didn't sell too much hardware. They sold all like kinds of gardening stuff, tools, uh, they sell like lights and all like these chandeliers and stuff. They still do it now in this, they still sell, but they've changed, they kind of changed their sort of brand uh, name and stuff and they sell like Ryobi products they sell I think it's called Odzitos which is like an Australian sort of firm name brand and then they've got some other sort of like names and stuff with it uh, for like they, that's like I think Ryobi's like sort of cheap to mid-range price um, products like you can get saws uh, you can get like chisels and uh, grinders and you can get all different kinds of there's many different brands out there suits everybody and I just enjoy everybody to just have a gander in there 
a really big massive gander. Now, I'm kind of like sort of on the fence with the companies, the way they're running the place, um, the way they're losing out on money. Apparently, Bunnens hits a major snag in ill-fated push to conquer Britain. I think they're rushing a bit too quick. I know Austra they've got Australia, and Australia's the biggest place out there, so they've got to get this big, and now they're trying to bring it across the ocean to the UK, the Britain, and I get that. And they need they need something to push forward so they can get people to buy their products. But is it the best time of the year now? Or is it uh, the best at all to do businesses like that? Um, Bunnings hit major snag and ill-fated push to conquer Britain. Bunnings Warehouse's aggressive bid to win over the British DIY shopper with its low-cost hardware and weekend sausage sizzles has hit a snag. With the business posting another huge drop in sales on Wednesday, Bunnings owner West Farmers, which bought UK DIY chain home base for £650 million last year, revealed sales in the British business had fallen by a massive 13.8%. Well, you could say 13.8% um, well, Apparently that's roughly about 58, I think they said it was about 58 million pounds or something, or um, dollars they've lost um, in profits or something like that. Uh, this poor result dragged West Farmers' overall sales growth across all of its retail chains, including Coles, Target, Kmart, Office, Works, uh, down to just 1.5% on the previous year. The disappointment performance contrasted with Bunnings' booming Australian sales, which grew by 11.5. So Australia is doing really good because it's an Australian firm. And now that it's coming across here, they've kind of like in a snagging position of whether they're going to make money or whether they're going to break money or whether they're going to lose money and stuff. So it's kind of like, are they going to gain it? Are they going to go like sort of in the middle? Or they're not going to make any money at all. And is it going to literally make the firms and the businesses go into the ground for the UK? Um, to be honest, they should have kept home base as it was before. And not change its name and change the stores and all that. But then again, that's the way they do business, unfortunately. And uh, some businesses thrive. Some people, some businesses don't. And they end up going on the receiving end. Uh, the results will raise further questions over whether the Aussie Icon's lowest price guaranteed model, which has provide, proved such a roaring success in Australia, will translate to the British market. Bunnings Group uh, Managing Director Michael Schneider attempted to put a positive spin on the gloomy figures, implying the few British stores that carry the Bunnings brand were doing better than the majority that still traded as home base. So technically they're still like on sort of playing field technically and they're still doing good. Which the thing is I do like um, the store and I do like the people in there. That they're actually quite friendly. Um, not like uh, one particular person though. I don't know what her name is but I, I'm not saying uh, about this. What well, I'm going to do is <clears throat> i got a bit of a sore throat anyway guys i guess you have to um um forgive me on this anyway i was in um i do a lot of videos for you guys and girls out there who wants to see the stores the bunnings stores right and i try and do it where there's no one like walking by but sometimes because it gets packed out in there it's very hard not to actually get someone in the shop now I've got the thing is um, I try and not do any videos with people in it if I cannot try. Um, but when I do, if I do it so there's nobody in there, I usually try and wait till the aisles are clean, cleared up and then just do videos down there. Anyway, um, I got uh, called over for a minute um, by one of the people who works in there, this woman that works in there. Um, uh, in Bunnings yesterday 
and she was saying to me oh are you uh, uh she's like something like oh i don't want uh, uh not like she don't want me to um, uh, she said, oh, could you make sure you don't take any pictures and videos of the staff and stuff there and all of that? Because um, they don't want videos and pictures of staff. Well, to be honest, I don't take pictures and videos of the staff. I said, all I try and do is videos of the products. Now, if you think about it, guys and girls, right? My mum got a bit insulted by this anyway, but I said to my mum, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I understand where this woman's coming from. But she has said that she'd already seen it didn't she? yeah but she said uh, she, her and some other people have already like seen it and i'm glad because then it kind of gives me views on my youtube and i'm not like hiding anything from you guys or the people who work there and stuff they if they already checked out my channel that is what i want people to do i want people to check out my channel i want other people to see like what they sell in there i'm not actually taking videos of the staff in there so they don't need to worry about that what i'm doing is also and i also yesterday guys and girls right i also spent i think how much was it i spent in there about 97 pounds over 100 yeah over 100 quid um yesterday uh getting some timber delivered to the house because uh, I'm building a shed. I've got some concrete cement coming. This is in Western Supermare, by the way. Um, getting some concrete cement. And I'm built, and I'm probably going to buy a load more stuff from their place. So I'm hoping they're not thinking that we're not buying stuff and we're just taking videos. Because I don't well, don't want them thinking that... To be that honest, if we were really nasty, we could turn around and... And go say, to other stores right, and then. stuff. We're going to take our custom elsewhere. Yeah, but I I think, to be honest, I that, it, this it was only just one person though. It was only just one person. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is friendly in there, and I was um, talking. Well, a person like her, uh, yeah, could lose customers. Yeah, and they could lose business, yeah. and that's the thing. They don't want to lose a business at this particular time when Bunnings' group, uh, grouping managers and all that, are losing profits. Then they could end up going out of business, and then, she'd and get then she would, and then she'd probably end up getting sacked and losing her job. And I'm, I'm it's not like so I'm not being nasty or anything. I, I'm, I love the place, and I love what they're doing there, and I love the people what they're doing there and stuff. You keep doing what you're doing, and I, but and I also get where the people but it's are. Just, it's one person. Yeah, no, no, it's one person. But I get what she's on about. Because the thing is, if you've got a business, you wouldn't want people taking videos of the people working there because they feel uncomfortable. But, but then and then, again, and then she like said, she that, said, no, no, she's, she's also already, said something like, um, oh, I don't, no, 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 yeah, already seen it, but we don't want uh, people taking videos there if they're not being, like, asked uh, to have their t pictures, videos taken and stuff. Um, Which you're not But I don't, that. I've been taking videos of the products and I'm trying to show people around the stores so that way in a way guys and girls I'm doing free advertisements on my channel and I'm trying to advertise a lot of these stores because there is a small bit well Western is kind of a small place it's not big let's just be honest it's not big and Western Supermare I want to try and put on the map but and Western not many you. people not many people come to Western when they do it's mostly just to come to the seafront. It's not there to buy stuff and order stuff and all that kind of stuff. And also, I've noticed um, this one bloke at the the front door. He was ha uh, he was only too pleased for me to actually record stuff like of the products and stuff, and to do videos to put them on the map because I'm actually putting Western Supermare on the map. But I'm not just putting Western Supermare on the map. I'm putting Bunnings store there as well on the map. And when I also put Western and Bunnings map on the map and stuff, I'm actually making the people who works there, I'm actually kind of giving you guys and girls uh, the promotion as well. So you're getting more money because you're doing absolutely well in the trade system while right, getting other people buying products from you. And when they see my videos, then they will make you more money, which means then it make you more happier. And it also, when I buy stuff as well, because I'm buying stuff from there, so you're basically taking some of my uh, profits, which I'm giving to you guys and girls, 
so I'm kind of like I'm contributing to the system and also I'm, I'm thinking about buying more stuff from the store as well because I want to buy myself one of these um, sort of like work benches from there I've seen a couple in there and I might do some like sort of research um, in there but I want to see how much their Ryobi um, I think the Ryobi uh, product over there for their bench is about 89 quid and to be honest I don't want those guys and girls to fail in the business I want that business to succeed with the utmost respect I respect each and every person who works in there and they're doing a fantastic job and you've got uh, to be honest if I was wearing a hat right now I would take my hat off to you guys and girls because to be honest you guys and girls work really hard at your jobs but then again then but like they all say as well the customer is always right at the end of the day and I'm to be honest, to be quite honest, there's loads of yeah. places people could go to. Yeah, I mean, there's places like B and Q, um, Cab Cadbury's, and um, Cadbury's is a very uh, nice place. Yeah, you've got proper job as well. You've got Argos, which is a lot cheaper, a bit cheap for drills and stuff. That's why I bought the drill from um, Argos, but that's uh, but I still bought those tool sets with the screwdrivers and the drill bits. I bought that from Bunnings. And that, to be honest, that was still not cheap. Right, 20, um, was it 26 quid? And yeah. I bought that. But also, not just that, I've but spent again, so far within the last couple of days. You could always go to Cabra's, and that's a very nice No, place. for the last couple of days, I've spent like, was that 128 quid? That's on the, the tools. Because you paid most of it, didn't you? And all that. From but, I mean, I don't want to say me. things, but I mean, the Cabris is a very nice place. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but... It's very nice. And yeah, it's nice and all that. And yeah, I and might check some... And but the thing is, I want to I wanna just... Like, cause I don't want to just stick to one store. I want to do different stores and check them out and see what's on offer, see what's cheap. And if I could get it cheaper anywhere else, I will get it cheaper anywhere else. But if I if I like something and it's still expensive from the other place from Bunnings and if, if I actually see something that's worth buying, I will buy it. And also, like I bought some uh, some timber, some wood from uh, Bunnings, and I'm getting it delivered within the next few days because I want to build up a sort of a base first, and then I might actually buy loads and loads more wood from there so I can build up the shed. And I'm going to start building up from scratch and just see how well it gets on. Because I've never built a shed before. And I've, obviously I'll probably have my brother to do it, uh, help me because but, he I knows mean, uh, more about a shed than me. Cabras have been there for years. And yeah. They're, they're a very nice yeah, but I, actually to be honest, like home base was fantastic. We all, we always used to go to home base a lot, didn't yeah, we? So, except for their plants. And so oh, yeah, the plants and stuff. I mean, it feels like they don't look after the plants very well. But uh, or water and proper and all that. You never got any problems. With but yes, yeah, this is just a small rant, anyway, guys and girls. Don't take it too seriously. Do your job and stuff. And I'm glad you're doing your jobs and up there and stuff. And I applaud all of you for doing the hard work. You're fantastic. So don't take this as a sort of like uh, upsetting you guys and girls because that's what I don't want to. I don't want to upset you guys and girls. I just want you to just be friendly to the customers because the customers yeah. always are the ones with the money, well, which kind of pays your saying. wages. No, they kind of pay your wages. And it's the, actually, yeah. it's the customers always right. Yeah, and, with the pay, and when we've got paying customers, they're the ones that has to, uh, technically pays their wages at the end of the day. And if customers get keep away, yeah. then... You lose your job. Anyway, guys and girls, just take this as a sort of like um, uh, a talk and stuff, like and all that. Just being nice. I'm being friendly because I'm. I, 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 don't, I don't know. To be honest, I like each and every one of you. I can't grumble at anybody. This is just a sort of a mini rant. Uh, but, um, but I did not like the way that woman. Yeah, it. but that's the thing. That's the, I, I suppose it's the way she pronounced it. She could have made it a little bit better, pronounced it a bit better, but. In a way, I just said, uh, like, bygones be bygones, guys and girls. I, to be honest, um, I wouldn't well, I'll tell you what, if I'd been younger and she'd come over and said that to me, I'd say, right, I'm paying all this money out, 
Well, I'll tell you what, I'll never come yeah. here again and I'll stop other people from coming. Yeah, well, no, it wouldn't do that because I'm not that horrible. Because the yeah, minute. You're, you're not. No, then it's, it's, no, no, yeah, well, you're horrible, but then it's, it's like one bad apple then starts spreading amongst the rest. But then again, it's like you always get one person. But then again, guys and girls, if you check some Why of my. If boss? you actually, if you check my Bunnings videos out so far. Yeah. I doubt you will see anyone on there who works in that store with videos of uh, the people who actually work there at all. So I don't worry, boss. guys and girls, you're not in the videos. So you're not a star in it. Um, I was but boss if you ever want to come into the video, just let me know in the video down below. Cause, um, uh, I, can I was actually... a boss one day, and if somebody said that to one of my customers, mm. I would have sacked her. Mm. Now the thing is, like, I mean, there's boundaries. There's sort of boundaries where you can take videos and stuff. But the thing is, if, if you're, uh, if I'm me, right, I see my perspective view from a different angle. If I'm recording something, like a, a video in a shop of a product that I want to buy, mm. and I find that I'm going to buy those products or just advertise them or get some people... Uh, I say I'm advertising that product and I want other people, maybe they might want to come down, they want to have a gander, but they're not in that town and they can't get there. Maybe they could order it online and get it delivered to the house, which means then, kind of, they still make money at the end of the day. And you've know, <coughs> been helping them. Yeah, so I'm, when, I'm actually technically helping them by putting them on the map. When somebody comes up and says something to you, which I, I wouldn't say I that. I wouldn't it. say she was nasty or anything. Yeah. I mean, but just, then I, think I, myself, I get where she's coming from. That's yeah, the thing. I know, but you weren't even doing it. No. And then I think to myself. No, I, I, I've been recording for the last few days doing like yeah, videos for the last yeah, since you, last you week. Done but it. she'd been but not at, of like if she'd the people been looking at it, like she said, she would have known. But then I would think to myself, if someone says that. I would be thinking besides myself. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. Wonder what's going on. Well, that's the thing. But mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, it's lucky you're not the boss, then, isn't it? Well, if I was the boss, mm. I would have sacked her. Yeah. I would say you don't speak to one of my customers like that. Mm. You know. Yeah, especially when they're advertising for free. Free. Yeah. Because to be honest, I'm actually advertising their products for free. So people, if people want to buy their products, I'm technically making them money. Well, perhaps she's telling fears. And actually, if you guys and girls look on my channel, I want you to check my channel out, guys and girls. Uh, do look up, look on the views, and you'll see how many people has watched that videos, um, those videos for those products. Maybe they want to see the products from the but store, again... but they might want to buy and stuff if the price is right. Or maybe they, they might not be. But in a way, it's still advertising them yeah, to the point where... Um, because some people mm. got in touch with you and said, oh, could you put on there and show us... Yeah, yeah, no, I've had, yeah I've had a, quite a lot of people but on my YouTube can, uh, as viewers. Town, yeah. yeah, no, I've had a few people who don't live in this town or, or not but in this town they, or not in this can, country. We, and they want me to uh, do a quick videos to show you what the new stores like, what's in the stores and all that. Because they come down there. Because then they might but decide again, to come down themselves. Yes, they think, well, if that person's been a bit funny, well, perhaps we shouldn't go there. Yeah, but that's the thing. Anyway, I'm, I'll, I'll still go there and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'll do videos and stuff, and I've been doing videos there. I'm not doing any harm, so it's like, it's no biggie to be honest, guys and girls. But then again. Perhaps the chocolate drinks could be nice and hot. Yeah, next time. I mean, I think it's the, down to the machine, though, guys and girls. I think it's the machine. So whether they've not hotted up the machine enough, and because I like it really, really hot. I mean, when we first came out, it was actually scorching hot, and it was nice. It was absolutely yeah. nice. I mean, the, the actual drink was nice in a way. I like the actual uh, but drinks. But you know how it goes? Sometimes yeah. you were in a place, right? And you get this really scalding hot when you you first open up, and then all of a sudden, I don't know, goes a bit cold. Yeah, it stops stone cold. Down, yeah. Yeah. And you wonder why. Yeah, but I'm yeah I'm just uh, just putting that out there in a way, guys and girls. Uh, so don't just take it to harm. Don't like like 
moan about it. It's nothing to moan about. It's just me advertising the place and again. trying to make it a lot better than it is. I mean, it is a good anyway. Don't get me wrong. It is good. They've got some top quality stuff in there for people who's got a lot of money and just want to spend their money on some top notch gears and stuff. But like uh, you said, you do different places. Anyway. Yeah, and I do different places yeah. and Perhaps all that. That's how we go down and see Cabarrus. Yeah. Anyway, guys and girls, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do like, favourite, share, comment, subscribe. Cheers all for watching. This has been Anthony Ken I'm Bishop signing out. Cabarrus, I'm on my way to see you. <laughs> oh, stop being like that. Stop being nasty. Anyway, guys and girls, I'm the good... Actually, I'm technically the good cop. My mum's technically the bad cop in this. It's like it's sort of like an interrogation thing. But anyway, don't take it too hard. And my mum's quite soft, really. Anyway, she's a softy, really. She just likes a sort of like the satire behind it all. Anyway, cheers all for watching. Catch you all later. Love you all and gotta go now.